Top of the morning to you. This is Mark and thanks for checking in. Today I'm going to show you a couple of um, similar devices that I just recently bought in the last week and a half and I want to show you the pros and cons of them. What they are is the um, the Ryobi, let's see, 4 volt quick turn screwdriver. So it's the Ryobi quick turn screwdriver. This is what I bought about a week and a half ago because uh, I'm an electrician and I do a lot of uh, work with a very small screwdriver bit. There's an example of it. It's a very small bit because I turn these tiny little, um, let's see if I have one here. I think I have one right here. Yeah, I turn these tiny little white painted screws all the time for, um, for uh, switch plates and outlet plates. And um, working with a little squiggly screwdriver or a straight, straight blade screwdriver is a pain. And so in order to expedite my process, my work, I found this uh, Ryobi, it's called the Quick Turn. And I guess they call it Quick Turn because if you push this button right here, you can turn it so that it's now a straight tool. So the trigger is right here. This is the process for turning it back and forth. And then it has two speeds. So the, the, the trigger, I guess we can operate it this way, is an on-off switch. It's not a variable switch. That is a big negative. So basically, it's either on, or off. So it handles a little quarter inch hex tool. It doesn't lock it in place. It just kind of holds it there kind of snugly. It's got two speeds. There's one. Oh, no, no, I guess that's number two. And then here's one. And it goes forward and backward. So to go forward, you have the little button up there. And you go backwards, it goes the other direction. But being that it's not a variable speed, for all practical purposes, it's practically out of control. So in an attempt to screw these tiny screws, and it goes from zero turns to very fast, it makes it difficult to, and slow is a little bit too slow and fast is just a little bit too fast. So in my work, I need precision in my operation. Another thing that this tool is missing is a flashlight. It doesn't, I'm working sometimes in very low light situations and this is dark. There's no light on it at all. So it's a four volt tool, says it's got a three year warranty, Interesting that it says that it weighs, here I've got my, my glasses here, it says the tool weighs, weight is very important to me uh, because I don't want to be carrying a lot of heavy tools around. So this says it weighs only 0.5 pounds. Tool weight right there, 0.5 pounds. That's pretty light. Well, what's 0.5 pounds? Seven, uh, let's see, there's 16 ounces in a pound, right? So that'd be eight ounces. Okay, so I have my weight, my scale here. I'll turn it on. Take the chuck out. We don't want to add any weight. The battery does not come out. So the battery is permanently installed in this device. And you charge it up by, I'm a little off track here. Uh, you plug it in here and you plug in this device, this little plug into the bottom here. And it lights up with a red light there. I can show you that. The little light lights up. And uh, when it's fully charged, that light will go out. So you know it's charged. Of course, we don't know how much charge there is in the battery. And while I was using it last week, 
on Friday, the battery died at about 10 o'clock in the morning. So for the rest of the day, I didn't have use of this because the battery is not interchangeable. I can only have the battery that's in there. When the battery dies, it's dead and doesn't work. So I found that to be less than satisfactory because I didn't know how much battery life I have. I, my Makita driver can operate for a couple of weeks on a single charge and that's all day use. And this is very nominal use, so I would say that the battery gave up at an inopportune time, at a, at a bad time, and I had to go out to the truck and get my screwdriver, you know, my backup, and put this in the, in the vehicle. And uh, anyway, so that's a little off topic, I guess, but, but it's important to, to have a... Um, have the ability to know how much charge you have in your in your device. So anyway, we're back to the weight. So I'm going to weigh this. It says it's 0.5 pounds. That should be seven ounces, right? Well, uh, eight ounces. Eight is a half of 16. Okay, so it is, and I'm going to hold this. There's the weight. 13 0.6 ounces. Now that's a lot more than half of a pound. That's a lot more than uh, eight ounces. In fact, that's nearly, that's like more like three quarters of a pound. So when I picked it up, I thought, well, it's a lot more than half a pound. Now it's light, relatively light, kind of bulky, but I don't know. It's not, it's kind of bulky. I mean, in comparison to a little skinny screwdriver, but I do actually, after using it for the week, I actually got pretty good with it. When I was initially using it, I found that the slow speed was too slow and the high speed was out of control and there was no variability on it. So I would push the button and the thing would overdrive the screw and potentially scratch the, the painted white plate. So. Initially, for the first couple of days, frankly, I had a lot of trouble controlling this thing and making it work. But after a week of using it, before the battery died, uh, I was actually getting okay with it. So that I was actually doing better than if I was using a screwdriver. So, that's the Ryobi 4, four uh, four volt system. Now, I paid $40 for this thing. And, you know, I don't mind paying money for something that's quality. But $40 for a screwdriver is kind of a lot of money, I thought. Well, and it's not really all that good. It doesn't have a flashlight. Battery dies and you never know when it's going to die. It didn't, like, slow down. You know, lithium batteries, they operate at full capacity until they stop. So it, that's a problem when you don't have a battery meter. Anyway, $40 I bought this thing for. And I was at Home Depot the other day, and guess what? Now they're for $29, so they dropped $10 off the price, so that didn't make me very happy. Then I realized that I had just paid $10 more for the device than, than, uh, than, than I had to, I guess, if I'd come back the next week. So, while I was there, I asked the salesman, do you have any other screwdrivers? I don't see any other uh, electronic or... Uh, um, electric screwdrivers available. And he said, yes, we do. We have the DeWalt. Now, I don't own DeWalt tools, but I'm open-minded. So he showed me the DeWalt 8-volt electric screwdriver. It's called a um, gyroscopic inline screwdriver kit. This came with the DeWalt, which is the electric screwdriver, Cool, battery comes out and is rechargeable. Comes with this recharger thing, which is nice. You can take the battery out, you can get another one of these and see how long it lasts, but as it's charging, it's got a big bright light there. But the point is, is that this guy has a battery indicator, so I see how much battery life is on it. And it has this wonderful 
flashlight in it. So it's got the battery indicator that I wanted, it's got the flashlight that I need, and it's variable speed. So it's twice as powerful, variable speed, battery indicator on it, that's a full charge right there, and this is the coolest little device. Okay, so I found them a bit. <laughs> All right, takes the same quarter inch uh, hex drive, but instead of it just having kind of a force fit and holding it, it's actually locked in there. So it's a standard release collet and locks in. That's a benefit. It's got the flashlight, so you can see what you're doing in low light situations, which is, in my opinion, critical. The battery indicators, variable speed. So it goes from zero up to a high speed. And this is the way it works. If you, hold, you, you trigger this button at the bottom, okay, so you hold it there with your hand, you trigger it, and you hear it, it's making the sound, and if you tilt it this way, it starts turning that way. If you tilt it more, it goes faster. All the way back to not moving, to going the other direction. Let me tell you something. This takes almost no learning. I mean, a little bit of learning as far as holding this button and being careful to, to do the turning angle, but I've had this tool now two days, and even though it's a little heavier than the Ryobi, and it doesn't have that funky turn action, which, frankly, this turning is a complete gimmick. It's, it's BS, it's unnecessary. Now, this device weighs more than the Ryobi. So let's see what the, what the weight of this unit is. Okay, it says it's a pound, 1.1 pounds. Okay, so there's the weight, 1.14, one pound, 1.4 ounces, which I think is about 1.1 pounds. So although it is somewhat heavier than the Ryobi, eh, they're almost exactly the same. They really are for the hand. And look at the space, the size. They're almost the exact same height as far as the space this way. They are very similar. Flashlight, look at that. I mean, that is wonderful. So this has everything that I want in it, except it's a little bit heavier than I like. Funny thing is that neither of these tools operates, has a magnet in it. And Ryobi has magnets on their drills and drivers and stuff so that you can hold a screw on the device while you're operating it. And it's not offered on this tool. And of course, DeWalt doesn't offer the magnet on any of their tools. Frankly, I, I installed, as I do when they don't come with it, I just took a piece of a magnet and put some electrical tape around there. And, and uh, so I have my magnet on there. And the benefit is that there's your screw the screw is rolling around on the ground, you can just go bank and pick it up. This is something that I just do with all my tools. If it, does, if it needs a magnet to, because you, you tear open the little cellophane bag and it might have, depending on whether it's a three gang switch plate or a two gang or whatever, it'll have different numbers of screws. Sometimes if it's a four gang switch plate, it'll have eight screws that, and you tear that bag open and the little screws go everywhere. They're under, out of control, you're holding them in your hand. This is really a cool system. You just touch it, boom, the magnet holds that screw. Now you can take it off, off the magnet that is, and hold it up to that, um, find it into the slot, control it with your hands, and start turning it. This is very controllable. When you get it going, you can then speed it up, slow it down, stop it, and do your final turn to get, you know, the 
to get the slot directly vertical. We always like to have them, uh, electricians often will, at least every electrician I've known, uh, wants that screw to be vertical so that if we come back and, and find that it's no longer uh, plumb or level, <clears throat> that we can say, well, I know that somebody's been messing with it because uh, maybe uh, maybe the HVAC guy or the, the uh, security guy might have done it uh, because um, when we're done with, a, with, a, with the uh, outlet, we, uh, we leave the screws vertical. So uh, anyway, that's what we always do. Now, this device cost me $80. So it's $80 and it says here that it has a warranty and I need to go online and look for the warranty. I don't know what it is. For warranty information, uh, go to the general warranty information uh, online, the www.dewalt.com.enu, whatever. Anyhow, eight volts of electricity. That's pretty significant. The speed is from zero to 430 RPM. So it's completely variable, wonderful. Uh, that's it. I am a believer in this DeWalt tool. The, I don't know if, the, if uh, Makita makes one or if uh, um, Milwaukee makes one, but I'll tell you, this, star, this, uh, this uh, gyroscopic precision device, it's nice. It is nice. Now, of course it won't do, I, I'm not going to be expecting this device, this, this little screwdriver, to take the place of my, um, of my uh, Makita driver, which I keep a, 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 a Phillips bit in at all times. But if you wanted to, you could quickly switch out the uh, flathead for a Phillips bit or uh, you know, use it as a nut driver or anything. I, I don't know how powerful it would be for operating those kinds of heavy duty things, but um, but for what I'm using it for, just for little flathead screws, boy, it's it's a real lifesaver. It's a good time saver. It makes you a lot faster when you got a whole bunch of screws and you you're doing that precision work. You have to be very careful because if you if it if it gets out of control. Uh, you can easily scratch that plate, and once you put a scratch on the plate, you've got to throw it away and get a new plate. So, um, so this thing has the control that's needed. That that is, in fact, I showed this to one of my colleagues, and and uh, he's an electrician from for many many years, and he looked at it and goes, "No, I, I wouldn't use that because uh, it's going to give you scratched plates. You're going to be scratching your plates, and and." Um, and it's out of control, and he was right initially. But I do say that I was able to control it after a while. But but uh, no flashlight, and no variable speed, no battery indicator. Uh, that's just uh, that's just uh, that just makes it a, a toy. As far as I'm concerned, it's not a, a tool that I can I can live with. So uh, the winner here is definitely the, the Dewalt eight volt gyroscopic inline screwdriver kit. Uh, if you have a need for a, a, a kind of a cool screwdriver that if you're doing a lot of screwing of things, um, I, I recommend it. It's a good tool. So um, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and uh, send them to me. Um, and uh, remember to subscribe to the channel and, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye now.